Hey everyone, welcome back to another Skyrim video. Today I'm going to be showing you where you can get some Daedra hearts and some ebony ingots. So right now I'm in Dawnstar where um, there's a museum and you can get this quest to get Mezus's razor. Um, so this is also showing you part of that quest. So you go to the Mezus Dagon Shrine and this is where you're going to get four Daedra Hearts as well as the Razor which is this pretty epic weapon and interactive loading screens you can spin it round if you really want to and for those of you who don't know which shouldn't be many of you. You need Daedra hearts and ebony ingots to make Daedra armor. So now for this bit, I you will want to be pretty high level with some pretty decent armor and weapons. So I'm going to use Wuthrad because I'm like a proper companion. Bring the blade's full glory to Tamriel again. So he's trying to get Why don't you the dude to Just make it, but he can't because he's a noob. Um, but I can because I'm beastly. You, <clears throat> mortal, you are worthy of speaking to. You have claimed the pieces of my razor. It has been an amusing game to witness. My horse is going to eat on does something. Not declare a winner while there is a pawn on the board. Kill Silas. He and his family have served their purpose. Kill him. So, Take your rightful gotta place kill as this my champion, guy. or I will crush you. But then he cheats on you. He cheats you. He's evil Wait, like that. Don't kill me. There's another way. I can take the pieces back to my museum, seal them in a display case. You get a generous amount of gold, I get to complete my See, he tries to talk you out of it. Has to die. Um, if you want the razor, I think you've got to kill I'm him. A so I'm just going to kill him. Never have come here. But I don't know about the data hearts because I've just killed them each time. <laughs> Sit down, noob. So he's got some stuff on him. He's got like some robes which are all right. And my guys are down there for some reason. I am pleased, mortal. I will give you my razor. Use it to wreak havoc on Tamriel. So I'm like, now nah, I'm gonna do what Spare I want. Spare me your pitiful pride. You are but a tool of my ambitions, mortal. Never forget that. Whatever, dude. Place your hands on my altar one last time, and you will witness the power of Mehrun's Dagon for yourself. So this is the bit where you get the razor, and it's also the bit where he cheats you, because he's a bitch like that. That's pretty cool. So you take Before the you razor. Go, mortal. One final so he spawns these two Dremel Lords. So I am going to dump some stuff because I'm cumbered. I'm overweight. Only in the game, though. Just dump some ingots. Falling off the side of the cliff. So this is why you kind of need to be a pretty high level so you have some decent weapons and some decent armor because these guys can be hard to kill if you're like low level and stuff. But I'm just going to beast through here, smack this guy down, and then search them both, get the Daedra hearts and get the key to the shrine so you can get two more Daedra hearts from this place. 
And I'm gonna heal myself before I go in so I don't get killed. And I'm gonna spawn an extra guy with me. I'm gonna spawn a flame atrinarch. I think that's how you say it. A whole bunch of things in this game with weird spellings and pronunciations and stuff. And this time it's not interactive. What is happening? So two guys in here. So pull it with red. And let's try another shout. Now I think for some reason these guys are like really weak to fire because that guy's a Dremel Lord and I just use fire breath on him. Although my fire breath I've got all three words for. Or maybe I'm just a beast. So take your danger heart. Take your danger heart. Take your war axe of burning so I can disenchant it. There's a whole bunch of loot in here as well. Ooh, glass bow. Check, is my dwarven bow better? No, it's not. Right, get rid of that. Take that, and I'm encumbered again. No. And no interactive screens again. What is happening? Maybe the god dude doesn't like me anymore. Right, so this next stage of heart is in White Run in your Vasker, which is where the companion guys are. And companions are pretty sweet. And Harge, bring you of the companions as like the leader. That's why I have a as a follower. You have to become the leader to get her as a follower. Or you could just marry her. And then ask her to join you. I've got some chickens in the loading screen. So yeah, for this, uh, at least the first part, I'm level 29, and I did that, and that was fairly easy. So you want to be around that kind of level if you want to do it. Any higher, you'll probably have dangerous stuff anyway. My favorite drinking buddy. Let's get some beer. So, going to your basker. And there's nothing on the loading screen this time either. What the fuck is that? Sending that Cartman. And that Cartman. And so, you have to go over here to the living quarters. And the reason that Cod like white main is not going to be there is because I played through the um, the companions quest line and he's dead. Spoilers, spoilers. Oh well, no one really cares about spoilers. So you have to run all the way down here and then you should be on this plate, but it's fallen off. Because of the stupid cleaning up late. And now I'm overcumbered. Damn it. Right, just gotta drop some more stuff. Going to drop. What are we going to drop? Some steel ingots? We'll drop the silver ingot, because we have no use for it. it. Landed on someone's toe, so it made a big crunching noise. There's a person there. But we don't care. And. No interactive loading screen again! 
Skyrim hates me. Why do you do this, Bethesda? Why do you do this? You make my games lag. You make Fallout freeze all the time. And then you don't give me interactive loading screens? God! Right, now for the last place, I definitely, definitely know that they are Daedra Hearts. Unfortunately, you have to buy them from this place. Um, I don't know if there are any other people who sell Daedra Hearts. There probably is somewhere. But this guy I definitely know. And I just use him because, as you know, a uh, vendor will um, re-get their items, so get their items again after 48 hours. So I just keep going to him. So this guy's in the College of Winterhold, so you just need to get in there. Uh, I don't know if you have to do some of the quests because I've only done a few right now because I started my whole thing again just because I wanted to but um yeah so you have to go to the hall of the tin which is like living quarters so get on my sprint again you have to go around to the left Hall of Tainment. And I think he sleeps at the top. I'm not quite sure. But I also don't know what time it is in the game. So he might not be sleeping at all. But the sky was black. So hopefully he'll be sleeping. Upstairs. Nope. 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 Da. Ah. Don't wait. Damn it. Wait till the next night so we can get our Daedra hearts. Right, no, you're not him. The guy's name is Enthir, by the way. So, if you know who Enthir is, that's the Thalmor dude. Really want to kill him. Nope, that's not Enthir. Is that Enthir? No. Right, let's wait another hour. Can you... can you possibly help Jazarko? Right. Where is he? Yep, there he is. Let me give you a bit of advice. You want to work on something that's not officially allowed? Don't tell anyone you're doing it. You need something you're not officially supposed to have? You come see me. You tell anyone that I told you and I'll... Even with the college's care. late purposely killing your fellow college members... I don't members, care. I want my idea, date to advise against it. Theft and assault can get you into trouble as well. As for... If you're going to need live test subjects for your experiment... I hope you've got some coin. He just immediately goes for money. Stupid greedy uh, Let's just take a look then. When you go down, ingredients. Daedra hearts. Oh my god, he's got Daedra hearts. But we're not going to buy any. Because I don't need Until any. Next time. Right, quickly, jump down. That's the wrong way. Gonna get out. And we're gonna move on to the ebony ingots. Well, ebony ore, because you have to mine it. Then you make them into ingots. Now, this is the only place I actually know that 
has ebony main ebony aura veins um so it's kind of east of kynes grove it's an orc place but you can just walk in that's what i did anyway and so we've got some more interactive loading screens finally But yeah, this is, I don't know how rare ebony mines are, I'm sure they must be pretty rare, because ebony is like quite expensive if you buy it from vendors, like most vendors, most uh, blacksmith vendors will probably have it. I know the, um, the girl in Whiterun has it. But of course that's very expensive, so is buying Daedra Hearts, so it's sometimes easier to find them rather than buy them, because I'm a cheapskate and I prefer to find them. And I'm an idiot and I forgot pickaxe, but I don't really want to steal one. So there's an ebony ore vein, and let's steal a pickaxe. And we're gonna mine this ebony board. This slow way. There's a faster way if you have, if you um, put a pickaxe in both your hands and attack it as if you're like attacking someone, then that works as well, it's quicker. So there we go, ebony ingots. Look how shiny. That's the ebony ore. So there you go guys. Thank you very much for watching. Please leave a comment and like the video. Subscribe if you really want to. Um, so yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.